Hello everyone, Abel in Vegas here, and we have yet another PSA order. This is a six card regular order. Um, I actually put this order into the system um, in on um, February the 28th, 2021, uh, because this was before PSA announced their original price hike. Um, the information on the system shows that this was um, arrived at PS. It was shipped on PSA at the beginning of March, like I think the first or second. Um, but this was at the time that they got inundated with orders. So the arrival date on the system uh, on the says March 16th. It was entered on 5-11. And then I received this back in hand today, Friday, July 9th. So about four months for regular orders. So pretty cool. Glad to have these back. That's interesting. So we'll go like this. This is a blind reveal, so I don't know the grades. So we will have a look together. And we'll just go from back to front since these are blind. The first card is um, a John Morant Prison Silver. Um, at the time when I had sent these in, uh, these cards were pretty high in value, but since then have gone down. Um, so I don't know if based on today's prices, um, I don't know if these were paid at the right price or if I still overpaid to have these graded, but let's find out how this did. So this one received a 9, which is fine. It is a little off, centered left to right. I'm not sure if there's something on the surface, but I remember that being there. But you can tell the centering is off left to right, so... So we start off with a nine. I still have slabs here from my previous order that I haven't put away. Then the next card is Ronald Acuna Jr. This is the Ben Baller Chrome. This is the Gold Parallel. Number 250. And let's see what this one did. This one also received a 9. So I have not had any luck with the Chrome Ben Ballers. I sent in a Alonso and it got a 9. And now I sent in a Gold and it also got a 9. Next up, we have a Haley Deegan. This is a Blue Prism, number 299 as you can see there. And this one also got a 9. So we're streaking nines. Now this one to me makes sense. And I don't know if any tens should exist of Haley Deegan's rookie card. Only because every single card, and I have silver prisms of hers, all have the this dimple right here. So technically they should not be any tens because of that dimple. But otherwise the card is fairly well centered in my opinion. So I think the reason they gave it that... Um, that nine is because um, of the dimple. So, all right, up next, we have a Chrome rookie card of Fernando Tatis. Ah, this one got a 10. So at least we did get one 10. So that is cool. And actually, the in my previous order, I had um, submitted a refractor, so now I have the pair. So, pretty cool. So, we have one time. Next up, we have a cool card um, that I pulled. This is from the Steve Aoki. Um, the, the, his first um, Tops X go-around. And they gave this one an 8. Which is a thick card, so it doesn't surprise me. So, nice shine. Patch autograph. Pretty cool. This is the blue frosting parallel number 277. So, pretty nice card. And the final card 
which has a sticker here, so that's interesting. I wonder why. It is a Luca. This is the Optic. And this one got a 10. And there's a scratch here. So I wonder if they notated the scratch on the um, on the flip, but they didn't correct it. So I don't know what that means. But it's a Gem Mint 10, so I will take it. I might reach out and figure out why this one has a tape and they didn't take it off. This is how I got it. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought of the order and catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Some of my cards are available for purchase on Check Out My Cards. Follow my collecting adventure on Instagram and Twitter. Links are available in the description below. Support my YouTube journey by clicking on the subscribe button and turning on the notifications. Catch you on the next one.